Blessing, Lord. Good to be back to Mount Olive. It's been a few years since we've been here. Blessing. And we catch him every now and then there on Facebook. And, but it's good to be here. Good to Lies. see you here tonight. Yes. Appreciate this brother coming. I, I think we crossed his face here just while back or flipping through uh, whatever you call it after uh, Facebook. Uh, whatever you know. And, uh, Blessing, Lord. Uh, so we like to hear brother pray somewhere. Maybe we will. So yeah. the Lord, Spirit, Lord, move on. You just go right up here. You too. That's what we're trying to think. <laughs> but I tell you tonight, it's good. It's good to be in God's house. Good to see uh, each of you out. And I tell you, I desire your prayers. I mean, we've tried to read and study uh, the best we could for the past few days. Just never could really get out of what God wants us to bring forth, but he knows what he wants out. That's right. right. That's right. And so we're just going to stand wait on him. You just pray that God might gather our thoughts together. We don't have much mind. We don't have any messages memorized. We don't have any wrote That's down right. that we bring this way. Uh, you know, some preachers, they've got them memorized out, and they'll go and uh, here in your honor, preach about the same thing, but I've got to get home with God and pray and ask him. Yeah. Now, Lord, you know me. And Lord, you know what's in my heart. You know I can't go preach the yeah. people may not right tonight. That's right. Right where I need to be. Right. And, 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 but it's going to take you tonight. And I yeah. come tonight. I Bless need revival. Bless you, Lord. I need revival probably more yeah. than anybody here. Yeah. And with the church, the Lord's church needs revival. That's right. Right. Yeah. And there's not many uh, seeking and there ain't many That's praying right. for revival tonight. That's right. Not everything in the world that man thinks that he'll ever need. But I tell you. Uh, it seemed like God, and we know that God's everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but in the sight of man, it seemed like He's vanishing more and more and more. That's right. The thoughts right. of man, yeah. and but the power of God's still real. Today. Amen. 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 The Bible is turned over uh, to the book of First Kings, chapter 18. And some of you already know what's in this chapter, but we, this is a scripture that God's laid on our heart. We read and, yes. and read and looked at it and looked at it. And and just couldn't seem to get settled it right where in the chapter the Lord would want us. But maybe uh, 30 minutes before we got ready to come to church, left home, uh, we was reading over one more time. We got settled up on verse, uh, down there about, about verse 37. This is a scripture that I believe that God wants us to read in our hearing tonight. If all I can do is read, it's still the Word of God. Amen. And Amen. we need to take it home with us. And, and I tell you tonight, too many times we sit and we meet at the house of God. And, uh, too many Bless times we have the form of God's, but we yeah. forgot Amen. about the power of our yeah. And so now here in verse 37, it reads like this, chapter, yeah. verse Kings chapter 18, yeah. verse 37, it said, Hear me, O Lord, hear me that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that, that thou hast turned their heart back again. Yeah. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the, word, the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water. It was in the trench, and when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and and they said, "The Lord, He is He is the God. The Lord, He is the God." And Elijah said uh, unto them, "Take the prophets of Baal, uh, let not one of them escape." And they looked, and they took them, and, and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and and slew them there. And Elijah said unto Ahab, "Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound." An abundance of rain. And that's what God has laid on our heart tonight to read into our hearing. And, and certainly good. And we know tonight that uh, Elijah is certainly a man of God. We know that uh, he's a man that didn't die, but God just called him up by the whirlwind and God took him on out of this life. And, and we know that reading and studying the Word of God, and we know Elijah wasn't dead then. He's not dead tonight. We know in the Bible we see Elijah. Uh, he is one there that when we seen the apostles uh, there and when Jesus went up into the Mount of Transfiguration, Blessing we see that Elijah and Moses, they was right there right. with Jesus Christ. And then tonight, right. church, that ought to encourage you and I and knowing and I know Blessing in this side of life we may get sick and we may have to suffer along the way, but when we're gone out of this life, Amen. I'm not going to die. Many years ago, down there, had an old fashioned order when I Bless fell before him and accepted him as my Savior in the eyes of God. That's when the old man died out. Amen. Amen. There, Amen. Over there in a liquid grave. And there, and Amen. when we was resurrected Amen. down there, we was re resurrected in the newness of life. Amen. And Bless we come forth and we've been working. 
and we've been striving yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, they're more perfect along the way we'll never be perfect right. well, as long as we got this high helmet man hanging upon us but I, I tell you one day in a little while we'll oh, put on God. one and we'll God. have a body like his all right yes. said, I don't know what that body shall be but I do know and when he shall come, I, sh I will be yeah, like him. Yeah. And so now you're going back in the word of God. And we find here in the book of uh, First Kings. And there's a time the kings. And uh, you read him and you begin to see. And how that one king would rise. And he'd be a godly king in the eyes of God. And yeah. God would raise bless him up. Him and God would bless his people. Bless and it'd come time that that king would die. And, and then the people that begin to drill. Yeah. And they're a little further away from God. There would be a king. Maybe rise up in his little slack uh, there in the orders that God would send him to him and he began to drift away and he began to lead the people away as well and, and we're living in a day and time and, and I tell you church they think tonight there that the little country church is going to vanish and, and shut the doors and go on and, and but I'm, I'm in a church tonight uh, she'll not vanish but she'll be here uh, there when the Lord comes and, and I'm waiting for him and I believe brother Rocky we're just about there to hear the call but yeah. now here, uh, until then we're going to be uh, need to be found out there in the highway yeah. and in the hedge to compel the lost uh, to come in before yeah. it is everlasting too late and, and they're going to I tell you they're still in their hell but uh, here like now we see in the word of God when there came uh, there Ahab and he is yeah. set up as king over Israel in that day and time uh, there the Bible said that he done more evil than he did uh, there, there, there was before him and, and then uh, to provoke the Lord to right yeah. there, he married that woman Jezebel, yeah. uh, the daughter oh, of the oh, king oh, of the Zidonians. Oh, and he married outside there the people of God. He went out yonder and got there. And there how the, and that's how the devil got in his house and, oh, and how oh, began oh, to persuade him there to carry away. And now listen, church, tonight, I can't help what's going on in the big church and, oh, and in the modern time and all like that. Uh, my duty is to that's preach right. the word of God. Amen. And then for you to take it and do what God sends for you and I to do. He called me there to preach the word of God. And, and I need to be about my father's business. The other day when Rocky called me. And normally Rocky, the Lord lets me know ahead of time. He'll tell you so and so is going to call you and come and, and preach revival. But it seems like we are our mind just been troubled and, and kind of wrapped up in the self things and all like that. There, a brother there that, that we just got to the place and, and it seemed like we wouldn't hear from God. But we was over there in the holler, there with the cattle, and just sitting there thinking and like, meditating a little bit about the Lord and, and God's goodness and all like that. And, and Brother Rocky would give me a call and and, and I said, Can I, and preach a, a, a God's revival. And I believe that there he had prayed. And I believe the church had prayed tonight. And, and I told him, I, I said, Son, would tell you, they'll have to go pray about it. But I don't, I don't know. I I said, I won't have to pray tonight because the Spirit of God had yeah. come by and put His approval on it. Yeah. But now here we see there the King there and Bless the King Lord. in the Word of God. Yeah. Uh, we find those that they were mighty men of God. and But they those that was wicked and they were over uh, the people Lord. of God. And, and we might look there that the church, uh, the buildings and the land in the country. And I tell you, there's many that won't let us preach yeah. there anymore. Right. Right. Time that it was studying years of God. Uh, they went the modern way and they cast God out. Oh, they they had come to please the people. Yeah, they like, yeah, they yeah. like Ahab. They got pastors like Ahab yeah. as rotten as the devil in their heart. Oh, God, and he is a fine man in disguise and ain't got enough backbone oh, in them to run to their wives yeah. and ain't got to get their message yeah, yeah. Uh, from her and see oh, if it's all right with her. But oh, praise God. be to God yeah. when it come time. Oh, and I've got an appointment to go. Yeah. i got to steal away somewhere yeah. and call on my God, oh, the God that yeah. saved my soul and said, Lord, you know every heart. Lord, you know my heart. And so, yeah. Lord, I pray I'll go and I'll do what you sent me to do. Yeah. But our revival's in the land. And remember the scripture that we read. Here we see now the Bible said that uh, Elijah, he is a man like oh, you man. and I. Have yeah. uh, like patience and all like that. But the Bible said that he prayed yeah. that it rained not upon the earth yeah. and it rained not Come for on. the space of three years and six months. Right. Wouldn't you like to have power with yeah. God like that? Oh, and I, uh, I pray and we pray
pray for our lost people, but it's going to take revival in the church. I tell you, it ain't going to, it ain't going to we're the body of Jesus Christ. And I know these people right here that can get a hold of God, but we're the body of Christ tonight. And we need to be a people tonight. When we gather on the altar of God, and we all can get a hold of God, and we'll feel the fire, and we'll see the rain come down. But now here, there's Ahab, and we got him in the house of God. And I tell you, he is so henpecked. I believe he roosted on the foot of the bed. And he had to go. And as Jezebel, what? And how he needed to do. He wouldn't seek God. He wouldn't pray. He wanted what he wanted. You can read it a little further and maybe in the next chapter. And there's a vineyard that he went out in his life. I had that man killed. A day boy, I believe his name. And took that vineyard. But now, here's Ahab. It hadn't rained in three space of three years and six months. Why? Because of one man. I tell you, if one man can get a hold of God like that, and God move in here and answer like that on the of one man, what would God do when the whole church would get right with God and get revived up with God? And what will He do there when we fall on the altar? I believe the Spirit of God to come down. We get just a little chat. We get just a little feel good after a few minutes, and then it seems like it's all gone. We come and we meet down at the house of God. I remember a time uh, when you sat down at the Lord's table. Hey, you got something. Then yeah. go home with you. And you can eat on it the rest of that day. And you get up every day of the week uh, eating on what God had set on the table. Yeah. And what God had given you to take all. But now we're living in a time. I tell you that. Uh, if God's call us, we got to go on. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm here now. And we're going to wait on the crowd to come. Yeah. And we're going to wait on the crowd to get there before we get revived, we ain't gonna get one. Right. You might go downtown. There to this big church or that big church and might see a crowd there. But we see their crowd just drifting off too. Yeah. Got more out there in the world. How they got everything that they think they could ever need. Uh-huh. And I tell you, and, uh, and they've forgotten God tonight. Yeah. Now the Bible tells us tonight, we know you must be born again. Amen. And I tell you, there ain't no other way to help. Amen. And I tell you, them devils preaching they many ways to God tonight. Come on, come we need to stand up come against on. it. Amen. I had a friend may have lived with you down there many years ago. Mm-hmm. And I made a visit down there. And I said, I ain't never going back no more. Uh-huh. And I tell you, and the Lord saved me after that. But my friend it. come on out and, and but I tell you I thank God for men like that. Yeah. And I don't know. And I, I believe I stand the same thing. They're yeah. preaching on the outside. And yeah. when I first seen it, I didn't know where he's at. And I said, I believe I've been there before. Yeah. And when he said where's that, I said, Yes, sure they have. But That's I tell you tonight, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. Yeah. And I tell you it's more it'd be bad for the night, and they might come a time. The hell this is for preaching, Brother yes, Rogers. And it'd be bad after to go to jail, but I'll go. Yeah. For I deny my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I'll yeah. go. Amen. And they said, if you, if you don't deny him, we're going to cut your head off. I'll just have to steal away and pray. Say, Lord, I can't do it by myself. But they done old Peter or, or James Amen. down there. Right. Yeah. They done old Paul down there that uh-huh. way. And I said, I'm far short of men that they were. And yeah. if you can get glory out of it this way, then just allow it to be done. Yes. And I tell you, and I did have. Ahab, he thought he ruled over everything. But Jezebel was his controller. Yeah. And she told him to go, when to go and when to come and when to get up uh-huh. and when to lay down. Uh-huh. And I tell you, it wasn't a woman, Jezebel, but it's a spirit uh-huh. that lived in that uh-huh. woman. Uh-huh. And that spirit, Jezebel, has been gone there a long time and I've been dead for hundreds of years. But that spirit is yeah. still moving. Uh-huh. It's moving uh-huh. right here in our land. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Live. It's moving right in God's church here. Yeah. And it's moving. It's moved in right up there at the White House. Yeah. And it ain't going to get no better. But I serve a God tonight. And I know He does. And He don't have to sit down in his hand to show me that He's God. I know He's God tonight. I know we've got a bad thing moving around with this virus and all like that. And it's taking a lot of people's lives. And and it's taking them out of this life. And I know we need to be careful and all like that, but I believe we need to put our trust in God. Amen. And I tell you, yes, if the church would fear God had as much as they feared yeah. the report on the news channel, we'd see the power of God in the house. And there'd be a healing here on this altar. And how many of you ever get up anymore and say, uh, I will, uh, 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 Rocky, I want the elders to come yeah. and pray for me. Amen. I'm saved. It's been times tonight. 
there that I've been sick over the years, get up on Sunday morning, and, yeah. and if I hadn't been the pastor, I probably wouldn't get to, went to church. I just went back to bed. Bless but I said, Lord, you're going to have to help me. Yes, I because I'm sick, and when I get there, if I don't get any better, I'll come back home. But every time, yeah. not half the time or most of the time, That's but right. every time the Spirit of God would come and move and lift that off. Right. Right. And what little help I've got left and getting old tonight. But I tell you, come my strength comes from the Lord tonight. Right. As David right. said, I looked into the hills and it's coming my help. My help coming from God. Right. But now here we say, and you know the scripture better, probably better than I do, and maybe quote it word by word. I never did have much of memory to memorize. But you know how when the day came that God raised up Elijah and he said, Now go down there and tell and tell Ahab that there it's gonna rain and all like that. There there come a test that, that through Elijah that God was gonna send down and, and there uh, Elijah there he's gonna put them to the test. Listen, when my God, the God I serve, is ever quick to the test, I tell you, He's always past. And Amen. when He tests His Amen. children, we'll trust in Him. Amen. Hold on Him. We'll always pass that Amen. test. And I tell you, He'll lift us up. He yes, said to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Amen. And in due time, He'll lift you up. Amen. He'll lift you up. Amen. And I tell you tonight, when He lifts you up, He'll lift you up. He'll yes. shout yes. and, and glory and all like that. But now here we know. That Elijah, he is not just a man, like, like the ordinary man, but he was a man of God. And when I tell you, when he prayed that he wouldn't rain, God honored his prayer and God answered his prayer. Now he told us over there in one place, I can't remember where is that, maybe Hebrews or somewhere or others, and told us about there Elijah. Uh, but now, uh, uh, tonight, God said he'd answer my prayer and he'd answer your prayer. Amen. 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 Are you seeing your prayers answered? And when we pray according to the Word and according to the will of God, I tell you, we need to see them answer. And I tell you tonight that sometimes I might get in a condition he's not answering prayer. He said, if I hide iniquity in my heart, he would not hear my prayers. When they see it in this camp, that's the only, that's the first thing that I'm going to have to take care of and take it before God and say, God, I've allowed this thing to come into my life and I can't get it out. It said, hook in my life and anchored in my life. And I pray for you to take it and forgive me of this thing. Listen, with God, uh, a big, a little thing, what we yeah. might would label a little sin, is a bad thing in the eyes of God. And I tell you, Elijah, and there he said, now let us put, uh, put our gods to the test and see who answers. Listen, Mount Olive there, we know uh, would be considered a small church and a small congregation. But I tell you, there's some things you got to get a crowd together. They've got to get a big tent out there in the field and, and get hundreds of kind to ever see the power of God come. But the power of God will come right here in my life. If you'll humble yourself with God and be honest with God and be honest with yourself and see where you stand with God and what you've been allowed to come into your life and what you're worse for tonight. There's many got their head bowed day in and day out over their cell phone and know more about what's on Facebook than he knows in the Word of God. And I tell you, when you get to that condition, God's not going to hear me. Amen. 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 I here we see. Now Elijah there, he came. He came there and he said, now let us take a bullet. And there's two. Now listen, we don't rain in three years and six months. Now here, if I'd had any bread or if I'd had any water, it'd been hard to get it away from me. I said, this is all I got. And I ain't giving it up. But now we got to give it up. The Bible said to love the Lord thy God with all your heart and your mind and your soul and your strength. And the next commandment is second. The commandment is like it unto it and to love your neighbor at yourself. And sit down at the house of God and say hallelujah. How I love the Lord and hate your neighbor. Hate the brother and sister and all these things. And we wonder why the church has got to where she's at and the condition it is in. And, and we all, but mostly what we've got tonight is just a form of godliness. Yeah. We've got a form and we're really denying 
find the power there. Yeah. And we see here in the Word of God, the power of God was about to move when yeah. they took and He let them choose. He said, yeah. hey, you just choose whichever <laughs> one you want. And I'm sure I, I just kind of feel that there's one a lot fatter than the other. They yeah. probably got that one. Uh -huh. and, and there and one dog with their God. Listen, there's a, a false God in this world. Uh -huh. And there's a demon behind each and every yeah. one of them. The devil's behind each and every one of them. And I tell you tonight, there's so many in our land and country that says, I've been saved. But they didn't receive, and they had the hardest right. ones to win the Lord. And I tell you, they're sitting in church everywhere. Come they've on, been there for years and yeah. years. Yeah. They've been members and may have come out of the number one family that yeah. maybe controls the come church on, and all on, like that. On, and on, the day's right. coming there, and I know that somewhere God is dealing. Listen, God only deal with a soul. Hey, bye. Bye. Soul, bye. soul bye. Bye. That's right. That's right. So long. That's he said right. there'll come a time. My spirit will not always strive with me. Amen. And I tell you, it's a dangerous thing. I'll get away from the word just a moment and share it with you. A fellow over to live next to me. And he is older than me and he's dead now. And he made moonshine all his life. And, and you know, a preacher, and I went and visited him. And the other preachers had sat down and daddy had said to talk to him. And, and you, I used to talk to him and, and say, you need to get right with God. You need to get in church. He said, well, he said some of these days, maybe. But then God got to deal with Brother Rocky. He yeah. sat on the back seat Please. up there at Calvary. And the tears just streamed down out of his eyes uh, there. And he wouldn't get up and move to the altar. Please. He got up and walked out the door. And I, I told him, I called him a name. I said, you need to get on the altar and get right with God. He said, pray for me, preacher. Pray for me. God was dealing with it. But he never would move. He never would come. And in a little while, God stopped dealing with it. In a little while he died. I'm not his judge. He's in my hands. And it's a hard thing yeah. to tell a family they're in the hands yeah. of the living God. Amen. Because the Bible said it's a fearful thing That's right. to fall That's in the hands of the living God. That's right. But now Elijah, he said, now you take that uh, uh, that oxen and uh, there, that sacrifice, you cut it up any way you want to, you put it on the altar any way you want to, in my words to say it, uh, there and said, and the God that answers the fire, he is God today. Let him be God. And so we see how they, they said you can go first. They started in the early hours of the morning at the time of the morning sacrifice. Uh, you know, they wanted to have to do God's yeah. word. Yeah. And they didn't want, they didn't right. want the true God to be their God. They That's wanted right. a false God. It didn't hurt to have a false God. Right. They could do anything they wanted to do and live any way they That's wanted right. to live. And they, they didn't have to worry about God smiting them or, or reaching down there in the home oh, and taking yeah. the loved one out. Didn't have them worries. But now it come time. God had put them to the test. He said, now you call upon your God. Yeah. And they begin to call on Baal uh, there and call out unto him and cry out unto Bless him. And he would not answer. He got on up into the noonday time. And I tell you, Bless old Elijah, he had a meet through yeah. Come on. Yeah. There for him. He didn't have to wait for the fire to come right. and, and the water to come down and all That's like right. that. He started to have revival right yeah. there. Uh -huh. He said, maybe you need to call there out a little louder. I'm <laughs> I've got, a, I've got a God tonight, the living God, who's through my Savior Amen. Jesus Christ, that out a whisper he can hear me. Amen. If I get in a shape, I can't get a word out uh, out of my heart and mind. And so I tell you, that cry can still go out, Amen. and my wife and I won't be able to hear it. But the God I serve tonight, he'll hear every Amen. word. Amen. And it might not be what I, all I can do is pray what I think I ought to pray. But when I pray what I think I ought to pray, the Holy Ghost Amen. 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 And he'll carry it right there. I heard of my Savior, brother. The time they yeah. get done with it Amen. and present it to God. If I could be saying over there, over there standing and see yeah. how they're the finished prayer when it got to it, I'd say that's exactly what I wanted to Amen. say. Amen. That's the prayer I really wanted to yeah. pray. Aren't you glad he's God tonight? Woo! Glory to that. Aren't you glad he's God tonight? And I tell you, he's still God. Hey, and man. I tell you, and there ain't nothing too hard for him tonight. Hey, man. Hey, I tell you tonight, uh, we can't even let them fix our little things. That's so right. We just even stop praying yeah. the big things. Yeah. But I tell you, God's a God of prayer. And Jesus, He sent His Son in the world. He not only just died and paid my sin debt, He made me some promises Amen. that He'd always Amen. be with me. Amen. He'd never leave me nor forsake me. I've got grandchildren that need to be saved tonight. Yeah. And I pray and I pray and I pray. But like the false prophets of Baal, there's so many out yonder. They've labeled everyone with denomination. Yeah, come on. And some, they say, well, we're on a higher level than them. Really? I always tell them, I say, you ought to get down here humble on this level. Amen. 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 Amen
Amen. Amen. I'm not going to deny that they ain't a spirit in it. Yeah. But is it the spirit of God? Amen. The Bible tells me to try the spirit. Amen. And to see where they be of God. That's right. That's right. And I tell you, if the word don't back it up, it ain't the spirit Amen. of God. Amen. It, ain't the, it ain't the true spirit of God. I tell you tonight, uh, people have move on anything they feel. Right. You get singers, and I love good singing. That's I ain't right. criticized singing. Right. But I need the priest for the God. Amen. I tell you tonight, the, the, uh, we see so many in Rocky, and I know you've yeah. been through it, and my brother, I know you've been through oh, it. Yeah. You can get a group of singers come in, they sing, they'll shout the house yeah. down, they yeah. run to the altar, and you get up to preach, you'll choke to that. Amen. 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 Yeah. Leave said, Lord, where is you at? Amen. Sometimes I wonder if I should have even done it and try. Bless you, brother. Yeah, try, right, brother. But if God lays the scripture on me, I may have to stutter and stammer my way through it. Yeah. And there's some of the worst preaching that I thought was that I've ever done. It seemed like that was the ones God That's was right. really able to use. That's right. But revival, revival, these people, they listened to Ahab, they, the uh, Jezebel, and, and them false prophets. The Bible said that that 450 That's of the prophets right. of Baal, they sat and eat at Jezebel's table. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the Word of God tells me tonight that I cannot sit at two tables. Hey, I, I cannot take the world and, and drink hey, of that hey, filth and then sit down at the Lord's table. Hey, hey, right. And they're trying to do it. That's right. Men getting up trying to preach. Come on, bro. Been sitting at the devil's table all week. Come on, bro. Trying to get up. And I, I ain't Lord. preaching to you tonight. I ain't never got wrong, but I pray that God. I know God when I did, brother. Yeah. Up here, I where is that? And I fell on my knees. Yeah. And, and, and God fixed it. And God took care of it. And, and, and the Word of God tells them people today, the, they, and Lord, I'm a rocky. I've seen them pull little boys and little girls off the altar. And, not even old enough to know what sin is. Yeah. Come on. And, Come on, and today they say, well, I, I've been saved. Mm. Mamma or somebody. Yeah. Mm. When I just live. If the power of God don't bring you, Amen. you ain't got it. Amen. 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 You go back to your testimony and the power of God didn't trouble your heart. Come on. And bring right. you off your seat down to no fire yeah. power of God. You didn't get anything tonight. Amen. It ain't a change in the mind. It ain't yeah, a repeat right, after me. Right. Yeah, right. I tell you, there's many that come and got saved. Wasn't even able to say a thing. But yeah. that broken heart, Amen. that contrast here, Amen. them tears are streaming out of their heart. Amen. That's the prayer that God sings. That's a prayer that God ain't you. Amen. Amen. And I tell you, <laughs> woo, Lord, I thank God for the country of church. I thank God for His few that are going to remind, remain faithful. Yes. We see it through history how it is with Judah and when they split. Yeah. You know, we've seen God bring them right down to Remnant. And one time He was going to smite them all. But Moses stood in intercession and said, God, if, if, if you do this thing, He said, don't do this thing. He said, block my name out of the book. Now that's the kind of burden that Moses had uh -huh. for the people that he was right. passing right. and leading. And our pastors today, some of them, uh, some of them, Brother Rocky, they're getting, they're getting a big old paycheck and ain't got uh, not one bit of burden for the lost people. Amen. That amen. church that, that, that they pastor ain't got a bit of burden for their lost people. That's right. right. And I tell you tonight, when God, I only pastor that rock, one of our Rocky, he was there for 20, 30 years. And I, and I tell you, but I, 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 my heart was strong yes, for him. Yes, sir. As I prayed for mine, I prayed for theirs. It was a talk with mine, and, and if God would open up the way, I'd talk to theirs. Amen. And I tell you, God's able to do something here. Yeah. If you come not expecting anything, you might as well get up oh, yes, and right. go home now. Amen. Right. Go home, and ain't no need to come back. That's right. Yeah, if all of it didn't come expecting for God to send yeah. revival, you might as well get up. Amen. It might not happen this week, Brother Ross. It might happen Sunday morning. That's right. It might happen two weeks from after That's Sunday. Right. But God said that everything that He promised that He'd do, He, he will do. Amen. Amen. When they've done calling, right. when Elijah said maybe he's sleeping or maybe he's going on a journey, I tell you, my God never sleeps for some. Amen. 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 He's all, all seeing eyes always watching. Amen. And, uh, and the Bible said, He that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Amen. My God tonight, He knows what's going on in America. Amen. And it's sad tonight, you take a few devils there, and chain up the whole Come country on, and right. drag them where they would not go. That's right. The church has power tonight. Yes. Amen. Amen. Power or access to us. Amen. Amen. Access into the throne room of God. That's right. We complain about it. We talk about it. You can see it on news. You can see it on uh, 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 media and all like that. And who's doing anything about it? Somebody needs to take a camera Amen. somewhere in 
and say, these folks is doing something about it. Amen. They're calling on the living God. Amen. And He can change things. Will it change? I don't look for it to any time soon. That's right. But when God's people, if God has to allow it to come and keep getting worse, the humblest people He will. But it shouldn't be that way tonight. Come on, brother. I tell you, I'm hungry, Rock. I am too, I'm hungry. Yes, He blesses. Yes. And yes, I'm feeding. He feeds me. But I'm hungry to see a soul come Amen. and be saved. Yes. I'm hungry for a church to rise up and get beside yourself. Amen. And, and like they said, Paul said, Paul, you're crazy beside yourself. You're mad. But I tell you, we've got so sophisticated. Amen. And we say it and we we'll say, well, I couldn't do something like that. I remember Bless him, uh, one time young Christian, brother Robert, I said, well, I can't yeah. do that shout. I can't get up and testify and say anything. I, I'm just so backwards and all like that. But one time, Lord got all over me. Up there on the top of the mountain up yonder, church is closing out just about over. Boy, he got, he got a hold of yeah, me. Boy. That's right. And I tell you now, uh, we need to sing that song. Something got a hold of me. Amen. Something. Praise when God. I got saved, something. Someone. Amen. What was something? Amen. Someone got a hold Jesus, of me. Jesus. But Elijah, when he repaired the altar, we need to get back on the altar of God. When we meet and gather at the house of God, men and women like, ain't you got somebody you need to pray for? Yeah. Come on, brother. Ain't you got children and grandchildren lost and going to hell? Don't you need to pray for them? Yeah. Don't we need to get on the altar of God and call out for Him yeah. for a, a, a change in His life? What we are doing in the past and the present, it ain't working tonight. Come on, brother. I tell you tonight, we need to agree on the Word of God. Yeah. If we disagree, we need to sit down together yeah. and put it together. That's right. And I tell you, we might, instead of being uh, sin in opposite, it might put, God put a lot more in just That's get right. the true picture. Right. And now here, here he called him. And he said, now he done told him, he said, now how long haunt you between two gods? He said, if the Lord be God, then serve God. Yeah. One day, Monday through Saturday, we're troubled and we worry and fear the things we've heard all week. It's made us sick and depressed and all these things. I tell you, that's the world's God tonight. Amen. That's the devil tonight. That's Satan tonight. Tell us there ain't no use to carry on. Uh, there ain't no use to go down there. There ain't nothing going to happen. And, and with the mind set like that, it won't. That's right. It won't. If I don't see it tonight, if I don't see it tomorrow night, I'm going to keep coming. Amen. Amen. Listen, Amen. Brother Rocky, I'll come until God tells me I'm done. Good. If it's tonight, it's all He wanted me here. I tell you, I, I, I'll say that's it. Bless you, but I tell you, I'll come. And Brother Rocky, I had him in revival. I know we're getting a little away from him, scattered there. Had him revival many years ago and had another fellow we called to come to preach revival. I think he got fired Friday night and he quit. <laughs> and Rocky ready to go on. I had that happen to me. He quit on the, the fellow quit on Thursday night. But what troubled me and bothered me, they said God had done. And then when you said, I've got to go home, yeah. they'll come back and try to preach again. Yeah. I was a young preacher uh, then. Yeah. But now if I'm an old preacher and I got back up to preach, I say, oh boy, just take your seat. You said God <laughs> was done with you. If you, may, if you think you need to preach again, get up and get on that altar yeah. and apologize to the church. And that's yeah. God forgive you. Yeah. 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 That's right, right, brother. Brother. I'd rather go one night a little too long than I'd rather too short. That's right, right brother. And I tell you, yeah. God knows we are but flesh and clay. And, and God get me up to do something for yeah. Him, especially a preacher of God, so you sing the power of God. Yeah. I can do anything in my hands. Yeah. I fix cars, uh, carpenter, anything. But when it comes talking to people, I just didn't have no guilt whatsoever. Uh -huh. I, and I said, God, I can't. I, I ain't going to. Yeah. I'll make a mess of this thing. And I have something. Now when God had answered the fire, when God Elijah called on, what did what we open up and read? I tell you, uh, and when they all the people saw it, or, or back there, and they let's see, let me find it. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Yeah. Listen, church, I, I, I'm not questioning whether you're saved or unsaved. Hey, if you've truly been born again, you know it tonight. That's right. Amen. Amen. Right. The devil might try to doubt you, but you'll pray through it. That's right. But now tonight, uh, God can do the same thing right here. Not literally speaking, but spiritually. Now when the fire come down and received the sacrifice, the people saw it. That's right. 
Now listen tonight, the world, God's not going to do that out there in the world tonight. That's right, come on. It's got to come through and by the preach word of God. Amen. 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 Now the Bible said, how can they hear without a preacher and how can they preach except they be sent? That's right. Until a person, a lost soul gets and hears a preacher. They listen to all the singing they want. Come on, brother. That's right. Listen That's to right. all of it. They are in teaching good and all like that. We need these things. But until they get to hear that old time gospel preach and all his fullness and his power. Amen. Get in there and cut through, yes, plow sir. through that old, old gravelly and stony heart, yes, break it open, and the word of God gets yes. planted in there, and God water it, bring it forth. Yes. I'm glad tonight. Yes, Amen. Amen. one preaches of one waters, but God gives it Amen. Amen. When the fire come down, can you imagine? Yes. I don't believe it's just a, a little fire show. I believe the earthquake. Amen. I believe the heavens roll and yes, roll. I tell you, look on the mountain when Moses went yeah, up there. Moses, he said, God, I want to see you. But he said, uh, Moses, ain't none looked on me and lived. A man tells you he stood with God and talked with God face to face. He's a liar tonight. Amen. Amen. He's a liar tonight. God's a spirit. He must be worse than spirit and flesh. Uh, and spirit and, and truth. And, and this flesh cannot come into the presence of God. Amen. I'm talking about literally seeing God. Yes. And I tell you tonight, but he wanted me. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I do. He, he, uh, Moses had a request. Moses yeah. had a prayer. I want to see the Lord. Yeah. I want to see Him tonight. Yeah. And one day I'll get to Him. Amen. I'll get to Amen. Him. But Amen. God said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take you up into the mountain. <laughs> and I'll hide you in the cleft of the rock. Put Amen. my hand over there. Amen. Oh, can't you see that picture Come of on. Jesus right there? Yeah. The hand of God covering you and I, covering Moses. Yes. And so when I pass by Him, he said, I'll pull my hand away. And uh, Moses got to see his hand upon him. Yeah, that's right. And when he come down off of that mountain, I tell you, he had such a glow and glory. Amen. The glory of God was all over him. We need the glory of God right now. Amen. 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 And I tell you, when he come, I come down there, they had to put a veil over his face. Yeah. That's what's happened there, you know. Uh, the Bible said the wicked cannot sit in the congregation of the righteous. Amen. When God brings them, they got one place to go, and that's the altar. Right out the door. Amen. Amen. And they've been many of them got up and went out the door. Yes, and there's many of them in hell tonight. They remember that uh, that opportunity, yeah, that uh, that invitation that God gave them for salvation. And they're there tonight, but they remember how they got up and rejected him. Yes, that's blaspheming the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Yes, they Amen. rejected him. Yes, yes, like yeah. through God. That's right. I know they got messages about him. It goes on and on and on about it, but that's what it is, rejected. That's right. They're the growing power in the Spirit of God Amen. for salvation. Saying no, no. But now, fire came down and received the sacrifice. But now, Rocky, I remember the first when I first started passing up the first revival that I called. Men of God came in there and preached for we had good. And I said, boy, now Sunday I'll be able to really pour it up. <laughs> hey, we got up Sunday morning and couldn't preach a lick. Hey, Amen. And I said, what in the world, Lord, did I miss something? <coughs> Did I miss something? When I, and I tell you about two weeks like yeah. I asked one preacher, I said, Preacher, I, I can't preach a lick. There's something wrong. He said, Well, you just come out of revival. We said, Everything's preached. It's been preached, and everybody's moved. It's going to move, move. Knows it didn't, probably ain't going to. Uh, that's right. Uh, so, but it ain't broke. Yeah. It, it come loose. That's, and, and in this picture, I can kind of see that happened to Elijah. Yeah. He is there, and, and he called down the fire. Yes. And it came down. Amen. And it took the sacrifice and it took the stones and it licked up the water to drink. There's a miracle that most people don't see. That's right. Uh, that's right. Hadn't rained three years, six months. But yet, but yet, God brought they brought that water. Amen. Listen, right there's a picture. You gotta bring God the best you got. Amen. And you gotta give it all to him. That's right. That's right. You gotta put it all first. But we got so much we put before God tonight. Mm. That's why sometimes us preachers, now sometimes it's my fault. But sometimes we get up and kind of choke today trying to preach. But now, listen, God's only going to send it so long. That's right. But now, now we got accepted. We got accepted. There's them, them bell worshippers and them false prophets. I think there's like 850 all together. There's 450 bell worshippers and there was. 400 prophets there of the groves and carved images that they'd set up. And they were some right Americans full of them. That's right. Amen. I tell you everywhere. Uh, some say, boy, look at my fine home. Look at the car that I drive. Oh, I've got plenty of money in the bank. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I tell you, Rocky, I don't know where we get to leave the living city or not. Uh, well, I'm going to do some shopping. Uh, well, we got some rolling out yonder. And I tell you, this stock market crash and things, I tell you, there's people committed suicide, hundreds of them, because they had nothing after their money was gone. And my, it was their goal. It was their goal. That's right. And it's coming again. It's coming again. I, I may not get to eat what I want, but my God will feed me. Amen. 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 Give me enough strength to get and go carry His word. But now here tonight, I tell you, I don't know what the Lord about done, I think. Uh, but now, here we read the scripture. And when the people saw it, they fell on their face. Now, listen, somebody, some people won't go over and over. Won't God send them a sign? Just send me a sign, Lord. Listen tonight. Listen, now, Jesus said there shall no sign. When they questioned him, wanted a sign. If he was the Messiah and come from God, he had uh, there and, and, and about his death, burial, and resurrection, he said there shall no sign be given. That's right. Except the sign of Jonah. Uh-huh. As John was in the belly of the wheel three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days uh-huh. and three nights. Good and it happened. It happened. The glory of God came. That's right. The glory. When, when the angel announced to Mary about her going, a virgin. And under the law at that time. And you know the penalties and all those. Yeah. And today, it, it ain't nothing anymore. That's right. 14, 15, 13, 12 year old. Yeah. It ain't nothing to them anymore. Mm-hmm. I tell you, uh, immorality has filled America. That's right. And they sang and sang and sang, God bless America. Mm. God bless America. He did. God has blessed America. Amen. Has blessed America. And yes, today God has blessed America with mercy. That's right. But there's coming a die time that God is going to wipe this nation and all Amen. nations from the Amen. face of the earth. Amen. He's coming and when he comes the first time, he ain't yeah. coming back the second Amen. time, do really. he? He's right. coming that first time. That's right. John told me that Jesus told John down there. I think John chapter 5, he said, There's coming a time that, that all that hear my voice uh, that, that shall that hear my voice that are dead shall live. Yes. But then he said, There's coming a time all that are in the grave. First, he's talking about the lost world. Bless him, Lord. Spiritually dead and spiritually lost. Yeah. But then he said, There's coming a time all that are in the grave. He didn't say, I'm going to come get part of them and I'm That's coming back right. to get part some other time. That's no, right. he didn't say that. No. He said, I'm coming. He said, all that are in the grave shall come forth. That's right, brother. And he said, they that have done good, and that's accepted Christ their Savior, shall come forth unto everlasting life. And those that have done evil, those that have done bad, are going to come forth unto everlasting damnation. Yes, sir. And it's everlasting. Well, our little Amen. mind didn't comprehend it. And I tell you, when you're hurting and suffering, and maybe God loved one that's sick and might die anytime. It's a day. It's a long day. Amen. You think about eternity now. Church, I tell you, it's important for revival. I tell you, for revival, if we neglect revival, God's made His promises. But if we neglect revival and continue about the same direction we're going, our people are going to die lost. That's right. That's right. And I tell you, we need an old-fashioned order that'll wake us up at night, two or three o'clock in the morning, with somebody on their heart to get up and pray for. Amen. And maybe at daylight, somebody on their heart to go talk to her, call. Her. Listen, how many? Uh, uh, Mount Olive, you know, I, I've not been here in several years, but how many members there is not here? And I know we've got the sickness, and I know they some can't be here. I understand that. Uh, but, but those that could, those that are sitting home tonight, say, well, I can get on Facebook or whatever, I'll just sit here. Yeah. I'm tired today. If, uh, if you're one of them, you, you've done wrong. You need Amen. to be in the house Five. of God to support revival and pray for revival. And, and God is sending. I believe He's going to send. He's sending them send a little tonight. Amen. Amen. I've had a little revival Amen. already. I didn't know what I was going to preach here today, bro. <laughs> the Lord, bro. I said, older I get, the less I remember and think. I tell you, sometimes you run up past him. My face said, what's your name? I'd have to think about it. Instead of uh-huh. telling you, you know. Right. But, but God, he's a preacher. Yeah, Amen. Jesus Christ comes and preaches through the Holy Ghost tonight. That's right. Yeah, thank you. And he's got a little out tonight. But now, when they sing, uh, you know, Elijah, he run. He ran. Uh, the devil said, I'm going to get him. Yeah. I'm going to get him. Uh, uh, that Jezebel said, I'm going to make his life as one of the prophets yes. before this day's over. Elijah ran up there in the mountain, whining and crying and moaning, going, I'm the only one left. Hey, we've got people in churches like this. Yes, right. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. What's done right here? Mm-hmm. If everybody get like me, we'd have something. No, no. <laughs> no, no, I tell you. We don't need to pattern ourselves like somewhere else. Right. Or, or right. Mount Olive don't need to be patterned like in some other church. 
be the church that God sets you together. Right. We've, got a, we've got a guidebook right there, and it's the Lord's church. And Amen. I know you call it your church, but Amen. listen, you just part of the Bible. Right. It belongs to Jesus. Amen. You belong to Jesus. Amen. I know I'm connected to you through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, but Jesus is the Christ. He's the head tonight. He's the yeah. son of the living God. Amen. And I tell you, they got this hippie Jesus and all that there on, uh, with me and all that there. <laughs> and I tell you, read about it. Yeah. Hey, he preached, brother. Yes, sir. And his preachers will preach. Yes, sir. And I tell you, we need to preach the word of God. Amen. And when they sing, I tell you, they said they cried out, the Lord, he is the God. Yeah. The Lord, He is the God. Listen, people that try everything before they go to God. To uh, they will. If they're sick, they run to the doctor. Now, I go to Dr. Taylor, but, but I go to my Lord. Hey, that's right. I go to Him that's right. first. And thank Him for the doctor, for He's able to do anything. That's right. If He ain't, I said, Lord, just be will be done. If it takes me out of here, it's going to take me home. I'm coming home. Amen. But we're going home one day, little one. But there are Elijah said over there. And he said, Lord, and, and the Lord asked him, said, He said, Elijah, what do us out here? Yeah. It's a question that needs to be answered. Are we here? I said, Well, that's, I just went to church all my life. Mom, kept on my mom, mom and dad. And just the same then I went to church. And I, they went to church. So I feel like I need church. They was baptized. I was baptized. I joined, they joined church. I joined church. I tell you, we need to break out of there. Amen. We need to break out of there. I'm here because I've been born again. Amen. That's right. Amen. And, and before I was saved, I didn't have no desire to go to church. Yeah, that's right. Go anywhere but church. Basically. Come by and say, let's go over here to Hogpen. The devil was Hogpen over here. I was ready to go. Yeah. I was ready to go. But when God saved me, he brought me out of that mess. Amen, brother. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. The first Sunday I went to church, I wasn't saved in the church building. I saved living room of mom and dad's old house. Right mm -hmm. there sitting in an, uh, an old war out church. But he saved me. Yeah. I didn't know what to do, I, I, but I went to church. I didn't know why I need to be baptized, but I know Jesus baptized him. And I need to be baptized. I want to be baptized. He put a want to in the heart. He put a want to in my heart to go to church. And I've been going ever since. Been going ever since. And I've been growing ever since. And I'm growing. And, and praise God. And I thank him that maybe some, every now and then he get a little friend off his tree. And I tell you, but now, he said, Lord, I've been very jealous for you. But he said, your people, they tore down their altars and, and done all these things. And only I'm left. But now, he told him, he said, I've got seven thousand. Obadiah, he hid, he hid the 150, I believe, down in the 50s in the caves and fed them on bread and wine. But God said, I've got 7,000 that bowed the knee to Baal. And I tell you, tonight, there's a remnant here tonight. Yeah. It ain't bowed to faith. Amen. But now, church tonight, I, I don't know what God will preach this week. Uh, I'm not asking him. I just want to get this one preached. Yeah. And, then, and when I look, get home or leave here, I'll start asking, saying, now, Lord, I've got to go back. Yeah. But you'll wait. Need something to do. I'd like to have it a little ahead of time so I can study it just a little bit. Read it. But now, revive Now, he went up in that mountain. And Ahab went up there and sat down there. And he called on his little servant. He said, now, God done told him. He said, I'm, I'm sending rain. He done say it there. And he's going to say, I hear an abundance of rain. That's a picture of revival. Mm -hmm. Water is a picture of, yeah. of the Spirit and, and, and the Word of God. And, and he said, now go up and see. He, he went up there and he said, I'm going to see a thing. He said, go up seven times. I don't know how far, but he had to climb that mountain, come back down, climb up. If he went six times, he, uh, he still wouldn't see that. Boy, right. right. away. But that seventh time, he come back and he told lines. He said, I see a little cloud out there and coming up out of the sea, liking him to a man's hand. That's right. He said, now you go tell Ahab to get down, for I hear an abundance of rain. A little thing, a little revival right here. In Mount Ah. But it's going to have to have some people that has faith and believe that's right, bro. And, and we just can't sit back and say, well, it's, it's, it's like that ever. I, the Lord whooped me over that one time, preacher. That's over right. our church, as passion, young preacher. And, and you know, I I got the high-hearted preaching. And, 
And, and I got to tell in church, I said, well, it's like this everywhere you go. God pulled me out of bed one night. Mm -hmm. yeah, by that right there. Mm -hmm. He said, my son, stop coming to James, my church. That's why I come he over. said, because it's like that other place, you don't mean it has to be like that. Here. Amen. Amen. He's God tonight. Amen. He's God. Look around. Yes. I, I, we're living in a land and country with all these mountains that used to be. I don't know what it was like before the flood, but God was able to his power and his flood and the water push these mountains upward. When the waters come out of the deep, but look at the power of God. Look at one yeah. lightning bolt streaking through the sky. That's just a small glimpse right. of what God holds. That's right. Amen. He's able to pull you out of here right now, right that moment. Amen. Right that moment. I, I've had things happen to me if I hadn't been saved, brought and I died. I didn't have time to get right. Now. Yeah. That's right. That's I didn't right. have time to call on. Yeah. But now, the rain came. What are you wanting tonight? What do you want? I see. It might be just small tonight. But I believe we're going to make it maybe seven anyway, Rocky. I don't know that. But I, I hope he does. He gives me something to preach. He don't. You can preach. I don't bother me. I've seen preachers get mad because somebody else got to preach. Uh -huh. oh, I tell you, it's the things you see. You have to ask God. Amen. Brother, we appreciate you, brother. Yes, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, that's what God gives tonight. That's good preaching. That's what he gives to now. The Lord, he is God. The God. The Lord, he is the God. Listen. What we're seeing happen, God has allowed. Them people sitting in that White House tonight, God has allowed. Why? Some say, why would God allow such a thing? Because we're in the midst of a wicked thing. Yes, we are. In the midst of a wicked land. A, a, a That's right. sinful nation. And God, he, he'll send the word. Might, and if people won't hear, he'll have some message. That's right. And I tell you, I don't worry so much of myself. I, I just about got my race run. That's all the ones have. So my children, my grandchildren. It's going to get worse, church. Yes, it it's going to work. And be a child of God. If you're not there tonight, you know where you need to be. There's an old fight. Amen. 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 Devil doesn't try to kick us down. Oh, really God, God. Uh, no, we, yeah. Praise the Lord. Hey, Lily, don't worry about that. Lily. He won't bother me. <laughs> Be careful how you treat them little ones there. Hey, Jesus taught, preached a message about them. Uh -huh. Hey, I tell you, suffer the little children come to me and forbid them not. Right. And he set one up on his lap and said, Except you humble yourself this little child, you shall in no wise enter in. Amen. I tell you tonight, that's a great lesson. Yes, Lord, look, when you look at it. And I tell you, Lift them up there, there. The Lord will calm them down in yes, a little right. while. I, I tell right. you, right. I know I've been there, Mom, Dad. I, I've been there. I know what you're going to do. I know what will go through your mind. Yes, yes. And this Mom and Dad tonight, it, it troubles them. And I know they probably wore that little bottom out, but he'll be all right. He'll be all right. I tell you, if we get up and do some running around by the Spirit of God, maybe God's trying to serve, show us through Him. He's, I tell you, I had a little angel outside me tonight praying. Hey, that bless my heart. Amen, brother. Hey, I'm trying to. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm,